Welcome to part two of setting up. In this guide, we'll be focusing on setting up our weapon key bindings. Now, most new players often adjust their movement keys or mouse sensitivities while setting up for the first time, but will often neglect setting up their weapon binds, leaving them to switch weapons with the painfully slow mouse wheel or unreachable number keys. These default keys can often lead to a painful death, which sometimes could have been avoided if you bound your weapon keys. Now in most other FPS games such as CSGO or Call of Duty, you can only carry a limited amount of weapons, so sticking with the default binds isn't much of an issue. But in Unreal Tournament, you can potentially carry up to 11 weapons at once, and reaching to the sniper rifle on key 9 whilst trying to move to avoid enemy fire at the same time is just impossible, so you face a choice to either move or change weapon, but at that moment you can't do both. And scrolling through many weapons on the mouse wheel is often slow and inaccurate and will leave you exposed in the process. So I highly recommend that you bind your weapon keys as soon as possible. Now what most players will do is set their weapon bindings around their movement keys. That way you can change weapon quickly without impacting on your movement keys so heavily. So when you get into a fight you can still avoid enemy fire and also be able to switch gun at a moment's notice. So I'm going to show you what keys I use for a reference point, but when setting up your own weapon bindings it's important to find the settings that work best for you and your fingers. Now there are some weapon keys I don't rebind as they are already in easy to reach positions, so for me numbers 1 to 5 remain the same. But keys 6 to 9 are just too hard to reach and will impede my weapon switching, so I will rebind them around my movement keys. So the stinger I rebind to Q, the flat cannon I rebind to C, the rocket launcher to F, and the sniper rifle to E. Now if you want to play some capture the flag don't forget to bind your translocator it's incredibly important I bind it to R and I also bind throw weapon to G so I can help out a teammate in need. Now the only weapon key I don't bind is the super weapon as most competitive game modes actually ban the redeemer from play but if you happen to play a lot of free for alls or more casual game modes you might want to bind the redeemer somewhere closer. Now there are some keys around my movement keys that I could use such as Z and X I always found moving my ring and middle finger down to them rather uncomfortable and slow. So if something feels unnatural, try another key. Now you could find some keys around your movement keys are awkward or hard to press as well. If you find this to be the case, try and spread your load to your mouse. Most players will have one or more weapon bindings there, but if you don't have side buttons, remember that you can always bind to scroll wheel up and down to an individual weapon. Now for me personally I like to keep my mouse as simple as possible and for years I would only use mouse 1 for primary fire and mouse 2 for secondary fire as I found that changing weapons on my mouse wheel or thumb buttons affected my overall mouse grip compromising my aim. Only recently have I bound another key to my mouse which is single tap dodge. A movement key that makes dodging around a map much easier and more intuitive. Its default binding on V made it impossible for me to use it efficiently and I had run out of comfortable keys on my keyboard, so I was forced to bind it on my mouse. It took a while to get used to, but now it's second nature. Now when learning to switch weapons with your new key bindings, I highly recommend you turn off weapon switch on pickup. This will help you get more familiar with your new key bindings, helping you to build muscle memory quicker, but also preventing accidental weapon switches when you pick up a new gun, which can be incredibly infuriating when you're in a fight. The time when your weapon priorities is important is when you run out of ammo with your currently equipped weapon, which will automatically be replaced with the highest ranked gun in your weapon's priorities. I always place hitscan weapons such as the sniper rifle and shock rifle at the top of the priorities, as these weapons are more flexible at multiple ranges and situations, so if I happen to run out of ammo in a bad situation, I'm able to keep on fighting. Now once you've played the game for a bit and you've got used to your key bindings and don't have to put any extra thought into changing weapon, you can actually choose to turn off the weapon hand. Doing this will remove that gun model giving you some extra vision to have that competitive edge. Now most top players and including myself recommend that you do this once you get used to the game a little bit more but if you're still learning I suggest that you keep the weapon model on for the time being. So that just about covers the weapon binds and weapon settings. If you have any questions make sure that you put them down in the comment section below and if you like the content don't forget to subscribe I'll be doing lots more content like this on the Unreal Tournament channel and also check out the reddit as well and guys good luck have fun out there in the tournament I hope to see you out there soon.